make any more videos. Mm -hmm. I just hit a wall where it was it was gotten so bad that it was basically either stop making videos or disappear forever. So today's video is going to be about YouTube happiness. But before we get started, make sure you click that notification bell. It lets you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. More information about that at the end of this video. People want videos, right? When like the audience turns on, on you, it is such an awful feeling. I want you to know how badly I felt. I can't express how awful it feels. The first time I ever saw this clip, it hit me in the stomach. I related to what Ethan was saying so intense. Is Elle Mills. She creates some of the best storytelling content on YouTube, and because of that, her channel has blown the fuck up. But because her channel blew up so big and she was doing so much, the anxiety and the depression really got to her. This is all I ever wanted. And why the fuck am I so fucking unhappy? Because, like, this is literally a fucking dream. And I'm like, fuck it! So I'm fucking happy. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. Fuck. I mentioned earlier, today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. They are an incredible online therapy service that is not a suicide hotline replacement, but it is really, really helpful. They reached out to me several months ago to see if I was interested in doing an ad, and during that time I've been utilizing the service to make sure it was actually something I wanted to promote to you guys. You can use the link right here on the screen or down in the description to get access to online therapy. If you feel uncomfortable going into an actual office and waiting in line, this is a fantastic tool to help come. I mean, on the internet right now, so many outlets have been covering these stories. It's not just the polygons and the slash dots of the world. You have the, the Guardian covering it, Forbes. This week I saw NPR covering it. For me personally, the person I ended up connecting with the most was Elle Mills. That video shows a young girl uh, in a very raw state. It won't fucking end. It's a cycle and it won't end. I've never seen anything like it on YouTube. This is she was probably pulling 70, 80, 90 hour work weeks with travel in between. Of course she got burned. And I'm so unfucking happy! Well, I'll take that as a yes. Oh, where do I even start? Well, I've been spending a lot of time with friends and family. I got to send my brother off at prom, watch him surprisingly graduate high school, and I also got to have a nice little birthday party at home. I was able to squeeze in a few therapy sessions before I started traveling and working again. But it wasn't long until my workaholic gas got itself back into the YouTube world. <laughs> and honestly, working again wasn't too bad because my manager and I made sure to set boundaries to ensure that I didn't get too drained or overwhelmed. But also, it definitely helped to have great people keeping me company along the way. I've just been thinking my time in between videos and it's been great. I've been making sure to take time off the internet every day, which has led me to exercising a whole lot more. I've also been working on reaching out and talking to people when I start to feel bad so that it doesn't build up to what it was a few months ago. And as the months go on, I get better and better at doing so. So I guess you could say things are going pretty well. Do I worry you sometimes, Mom? Oh <laughs> god, often. Or well, let's say all the time. All the time. Why? Yeah. All the time. Why? Because you're hard to read. You're hard. You don't. You don't open up with me all the time. I don't like talking feelings with my kids. I know. Uh, you don't have to do this. No. No. Okay. not everything is as perfect as I made it seem. I mean, I do give a lot of people reason to worry online. And my mom and I never speak a single word of it. I know my hometown friends are a bit frustrated as well. You post things that are concerning. I don't know, you just have this like energy of you, this positive energy that you're always giving off to others. And like, I never thought that you were going through something like that. You never really speak about it to anyone. Like you keep it to yourself kind of, so. Does it make you? upset that I keep it to myself and then just broadcast that online? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. It does. What I struggle with is dealing with that vulnerability that I put out online in person face to face. 
it just exceeds the very limited amount of vulnerability I'm comfortable with. Which is why I often just make videos about how I feel and I tend to open up about my darkest shit. Plus you're still in the industry of what causes 95% of your stress. Hey, I'm not making ad revenue. Wah. So Mills, in this video heavily touches upon mental health. If you're currently struggling with your mental health, I highly encourage you to reach out to someone, such as a family member, a friend, or professional. In light of this video, I'm working with BetterHelp to help provide another resource for you guys. BetterHelp is an app and a website that allows you to text, chat, or phone or video call with licensed therapists and start communicating in under 24 hours. And I would like to clarify that this isn't a crisis line. If this is something that interests you, go to betterhelp.com slash L or click the first link in the description. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. I mentioned therapy a few times in this video and it's no coincidence because today's sponsor is the folks over at BetterHelp. And if you've noticed that I've been doing a lot better over the last couple of months, it's because I got back into therapy and I started right there with BetterHelp. And I recommend if you need therapy, it's a good place to get started. But a few months back, I signed up for BetterHelp. It was very easy to do. I just did it via my phone and I started talking with a the therapist there. And after a couple of months of talking to that therapist almost every day, I realized that I needed much more intensive therapy than they were able to provide. They recommended I get medication, they recommended I talk to my doctor, and they recommended I got into seeing a regular therapist. And now I'm using both a regular therapist who I see once a week and the folks over at BetterHelp. And in tandem, I'm doing better than I've ever done, certainly that I've done since the divorce. So if you're struggling right now with any of the stuff I've been struggling with, the depression, the anxiety, the eating disorders, anything like that, or you just need somebody to talk to, go to betterhelp.com slash B-O-O-G-I-E. And if you sign up using that code, I'm going to make a little bit of money. But more importantly, you'll get the help you need. I don't even care if you use that link. Just go to BetterHelp and sign up and get the help you need today. Trust me, you're going to be very happy you did it. And if it's a matter of money, and trust me, I know what it's like to be broke, if it's a matter of money, know that there's financial assistance for those people who need it through BetterHelp. I mean, you can get therapy for a very inexpensive price. It's one of the best and most inexpensive ways to get it. I highly recommend it, and I hope you check it out if you need the help. find stuff for myself, so YouTube put us in touch. Because she had just done a video about burnout, so we thought it'd be fun. I want to tell you about an amazing new service that I use. It's called BetterHelp. BetterHelp hooks you up with all kinds of therapists across the country that you can link up with. It's only $35. You can Skype, you can FaceTime with them. If you feel like talking to someone and you want to find a therapist, BetterHelp.com is the best place to go. Guys, it's so convenient. You can do it from your computer or your phone. It's also affordable and they have financial aid available. I had a therapy session today. I feel a million times better. Do not wait. Reach out. Go to BetterHelp.com and talk to someone. I promise you will feel better if you talk to someone, whatever you're 
you're going through. I just finished my session and I talked for about an hour to someone today and it was incredible. One therapy session and you already feel better? Holy shit. Just sign me up right now, motherfucker. These are accredited counselors from all over the country, really, really great people who are trained to talk to you. And give you the right advice and be a sounding board uh, to whatever you're going through. Guys, click on the link in my description and check out BetterHelp. Today's video is an extension of what BetterHelp is doing. I hooked up with Katie, who is a, a licensed therapist and also a YouTuber, and I thought it'd be really fun if you guys got to see um, what a therapy session is like. So take Maybe that's better for this video. I don't know. I'm here with Katie Morton, Dr. Katie Morton. No, no. Licensed therapist. Licensed not a doctor. Licensed therapist. Not a doctor, not a doctor <laughs> idiots. You're so stupid, you fell for it. Oh, I know I should have kept you waiting. It's been ages since I've done anything other than a vlog. And this video has been a long time coming mm. because today we're going to be talking about mental health. Mm. Now I've been waiting ages, like literally itching to make this video. Itching? Literally. She's got a rash. Literally <laughs> itching. I have a rash. I was waiting for the book to be out because we wrote a huge chapter on mental health mm -hmm. and I've talked about things in the book that I haven't told anyone. I haven't even told my own family. Same. So I was waiting uh, for you guys to read that. But I got my rash. If you haven't heard about this, if this is brand new information, head over to the main channel and check out the story. And even though in the main channel I'm joking about it because I had to laugh, I would never have got a rash if it wasn't for stress and anxiety. That's what made my eczema flare up. Then it got infected and then I got very, very ill. Through doing YouTube, Rosie and I have met absolutely thousands of you guys and it became apparent that a lot of you have commonalities with each other and with us mm -hmm. um, regarding mental health issues, coming out issues, and just issues in general. And I think it's really important for Rosie and I to take the opportunity on this platform to... I mean, on the internet right now, so many outlets have been covering these stories. It's not just the polygons and the slash dots of the world. You have the, the Guardian covering it, Forbes. This week I saw NPR covering it. For me personally, the person I ended up connecting with the most was Elle Mills. That video shows a young girl uh, in a very raw state. It won't fucking end. It's a cycle and it won't end. I've never seen anything like it on YouTube. This is she was probably pulling 70, 80, 90 hour work weeks with travel in between. Of course she got burned out. Maybe not everything is as perfect as I made it seem. I mean, I do give a lot of people reason to worry online. And my mom and I never speak a single word of it. I know my hometown friends are a bit frustrated as well. You post things that are concerning. Ah, you just have this like energy of you, this positive energy that you're always giving off to others. And like, I never thought that you were going through something like that. You never really speak about it to anyone. Like you keep it to yourself, kind of. So. Does it make you? upset that I took it to myself and then just broadcast that online? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. It does. What I struggle with is dealing with that vulnerability that I put out online in person, face to face. It just exceeds the very limited amount of vulnerability I'm comfortable with. Which is why I often just make videos about how I feel and I tend to open up about my darkest shit with friends that all share a single thing in common. They're nowhere near me. In light of this video, I'm working with BetterHelp to help provide another resource for you guys.
So this is a video about me starting gender therapy. Yep. I'm trying to vlog in the moment when it's fresh, so here we go. It was so good! I really liked it! So I've been going to therapy for four weeks now and I really dig it. The only drawback is, is expensive. First I have to hit my deductible, then a little insurance kicks in, but even then it's not cheap. So if you are similar to me in the way that you are not made of money, but you still want to talk to a professional about some of your feels, then I want to tell you about BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a program that has assisted over 600,000 people. Pretty cool. And what it does is provide easy, discreet online counseling from licensed therapists. First you sign up and complete a questionnaire about yourself. What I thought was really rad about the questionnaire uh, is it asked for your gender and it included non-binary as an opcione. Ah, so cool. Then you are matched with a therapist within 24 hours, which is dope because like you heard me in the beginning of this video, I was really afraid I'd have to wait eight months to find the right therapist. Ooh, so no scary wait period. And once you've matched with your counselor, you guys can communicate right on your device in whatever way feels comfortable. Live type chat, email, phone calls, video chat, etc. And you can do all this, you can start for as low as $35 a week, which is pretty manageable compared to IRL therapy. <laughs> This is gonna be a nightmare. Oh! <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna do this. I want you guys to be on this journey with me. I hope that you uh, aren't mad at me for doing this. Part two of the mind of Jake Paul. Now today's episode, I sit down with therapist Katie Morton to talk about the psychology of Jake Paul. I'm not going to do my regular intro because I'll disturb your neighbors. Okay. But welcome everyone on my channel now. We just recorded a video for Katie's channel. By the way, this is Katie Morton. I just realized I haven't introduced you. Yes, hello. Um, so tell the people a little bit about yourself because I, I only know so much as well. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. Better for this video, I don't know. I'm here with Katie Morton. Dr. Katie Morton. Oh, no. Licensed therapist. Lic not a doctor. Licensed therapist, not a doctor, not a doctor <laughs> idiots. Talk about my issues and the fact that I probably need more therapy. So that's why I'm excited to once again say that today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. This is something I really think is great, something I actually really believe in. So BetterHelp is a service and an app where you can get affordable and private online counseling whenever you want. Like I've said before, going to a therapist's office or sitting down with a counselor can be kind of intimidating and a little scary, which is why I love this, because you can just be on your phone, you don't have to go in anywhere, and you can just set up your appointment, you can message them when you want to talk it's just really easy and it's great so you'll fill out a questionnaire and then they'll match you to a counselor and then you can get started getting counseling on your computer or your smartphone or your tablet 